When somebody's the president of the United States, the authority is total. And that's the way it's got to be. That single statement, along with several others made Monday by United States President Donald J. Trump, are sure to set off fierce classroom debates over what the Constitution says about presidential power. It's total. It's total. And the governors know that. President Trump is currently locked in a heated debate with several governors over who will make the call when it's time to reopen individual states for business. For their part, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy and New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced earlier in the day they are now working with five other East Coast states to coordinate a strategy to reopen. California, Oregon, and Washington State on the West Coast doing the same. The question is uh, for the federal government to now change its model of management. Because remember, the federal government could have said, I want to close down the economy. They didn't. They said we're going to leave it to the states. Cuomo also acknowledges the president could use his authority to step in with a new federal plan. They want to take it back. How are you going to do it, Mr. President? Answer the question. It is important to note President Trump insists he will consult with experts and the states before making the call to reopen under his, quote, total authority. We're starting to see in some areas now that kind of flattening, particularly in a place that was a hot spot like New York. The latest good news? Hard data showing we are finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel as businesses remain shuttered from Herald Square to Times Square and beyond. Tens of thousands of jobs and hundreds of millions of dollars sucked out of the economy. Practically speaking, can President Trump prevent these governors from reopening their own states? The president cannot prevent governors from quote unquote reopening their own states in the same way that he can't compel them to close down their own state. Columbia University public policy lecturer Basil Smichael says the stakes are so high because the COVID-19 curve could spike again if states fail to reopen properly too soon and without coordination. We are so interconnected that we have to make decisions collectively about how to bring back something as important as our, as our economy. We've talked about getting lulled into a false sense of security, not taking this seriously enough with social distancing and wearing a mask. Whoever makes the decision to reopen this economy, if it's done too early, it is certainly going to be a big political risk and a big health risk for everyone involved. We are live in Times Square tonight. Jay Dow, Pix 11 News.